Hello, good morning. Today's day 69, 81 total on trail. And um, I just left the hostel. Um, this little road behind me is where we start and go down the trail. And um, I'm excited out of Shenandoah's and this little road behind me is where we came up. But um, it's only 53 miles to Harper's Ferry. So I got four days to do it or I could do it in three. I think it's 17 miles a day. If I do it in four, like 15 miles, 14 or 15 if I do it in, or no, I said that backwards. <clears throat> 14 or 15 if I do it in four and like 17 if I do it in three. So we'll see how it goes and um, it's not raining, so it's gonna be a beautiful day. And here's where we start. I've gone about two miles this morning and um, this is leaving Front Royal and um, it's just deep in the woods uh, there's been a lot of vines and trees hanging over and the wet grass makes your feet wet but um, at least it's not like dripping wet like it was yesterday so I think we got 51 miles to Harper's Ferry and from here to there, it's a lot of rolling hills, like up and down, up and down, up and down. They call it the roller coaster. So I'll add a picture of the profile before long and you can see what I mean by up and down, up and down. <laughs> but this is what it looks like this morning. Nothing special, just in the woods. So that couple that I just met is Wild Bear and Phoenix. And that was encouraging. He wanted to know if I was a believer. So I said, of course, you know, we're out here to do mission. And they said, that's exactly why they're on trail, to do mission for God. And um, so it was you know, really cool meeting them, Wild Bear and Phoenix. And uh, he wanted to know my YouTube and I wrote down his. And so um, that's really cool. So I've been hiking by myself Obviously this morning I've done four miles and I was just kind of thinking, uh, man, my trip's almost over. And I was thinking about my polls, you know, goal number one is that times of refreshing would come from the presence of the Lord. And I was just kind of thinking for a word of encouragement this morning. And so, you know, whatever that may be, then um, those two come along my path. Man, I wish I could have given him. He, he said he really wanted to cross. If I had it to do over again, I would give it to him because I have more at home. And um, they're just starting their journey, you know, and I'm ending it halfway for, for now. And um, that's just, he was so excited to talk and thankful that I'm out here doing the same thing. And he said that he didn't even know if there'd be many believers on trail. And I was telling him how, heck, our whole group is strong believers we go to church everywhere and we meet people and so anyway i think that was god's word today word of encouragement you know through another person so anyway i wanted to get that out before i forgot and that was i've already had a blessed day if nothing else changes
So I just came out of the thick woods and look how pretty this path is. Somebody's mowed it on the sides, it's beautiful. Oh, because we're coming up on a shelter. Pretty little stream. Oh, I got brave and crossed again while videoing. It didn't fall in. We gotta cross this road. <clears throat> you can see it. <coughs> double pole down there. <coughs> double white blaze, I should say. I'm just crossing a meadow. Y'all know this is one of my favorite things. This thing sure needs to be mowed, but they did keep it natural. So. The wind's blowing up here. It's really nice today. I don't know what these white flowers are. Look like briars. Might be some blackberry bush or something. Blackberry, blueberry. Don't know what they are. Okay, I just want to do a short video. That last picture, that guy does maintenance in the area. His name is DJ Jeff. And uh, we had a wonderful conversation. He's a, he says he's kind of a newer believer, but he was just seeking God's uh, direction in life and how he can make a difference the best. And yeah, I had a wonderful 30, uh, at least 30 minute conversation. So what's so funny is, um, again, I was, Hiking alone today, just trying to seek the Lord. Because I've only got three days left on trail. So I was like, hey, I want to finish good. And I've had at least two people now come by to have gospel conversations. So it was awesome. The first was um, the young couple, Phoenix and Bear. And then now DJ Jeff. And, um, and actually, a lot of it comes from just wearing the cross. People will say, hey, I want to ask you about your cross. So... What a day, two wonderful long gospel conversations and super exciting. So I love that stuff. I can talk with anybody about just about anything, and but at least I know a little bit more about the Christian stuff and gospel stuff. So but anyway, I just wanted to pass that along. Good conversations today. And um, I'm about to come up on a road crossing. So I always love railroad crossings. I think a train is so cool. Man, that'd be nice to walk down one day. Nice and clean, both directions. And we're still coming down to a road crossing. So I was just looking on far out. I gotta walk down the road going under I-66 above um, Front Royal, Virginia. So I'm currently at like mile 980, I think. So I'm making, I've done, I can't see my watch, what I've done so far.
Hey, just a little check-in. It is uh, 5.30. I've done 17.3 miles. And uh, I want to show you how a trail should be maintained because I've been going through some Appalachian jungle. Trail cuts through this Virginia State Park and look how nice this is. Much better, at least somebody knows how to mow something. But... Wow, you see this busy road? We gotta cross over, you see the white blaze? But they did put signs up, that makes me feel safe. <laughs> oh. So I got one, one point something to get to the shelter, 1.8. I'm exhausted, I've done almost 22 already, but here's what I kind of meant about what the, what the trail's like half the time. A lot of stuff hanging over. It's kind of, whoa, kind of swampy, viney. You can't really look either direction. There's nothing to see. Just, I like it much more when it's open or a big canopy. <sighs> this is what we, this is pretty much what it's like most of the time deep in the forest and uh, kind of overgrown.